Hi Aries and welcome to your love reading. We're going to see what's coming towards you in love. Thank you all so much for your likes, comments, shares and subscribes. I appreciate you. If any of you would like to book a personal reading to purchase anything. Also make a donation to the channel. Info on how to do so is in the description box below. Um, please remember the energies in the readings can go vice versa. So only take what resonates. Feel free to switch the genders, the roles. Do what you got to do. Leave the rest, okay? So let's see what is coming towards you in love. Okay, so we have the cure. Healing, strength and weakness and healthy boundaries, okay? Being young twins at the bottom of the deck, we're dealing with a Libra. <coughs> and then we have the water that runs deep. Pampering, intense emotions and transparency, okay? And at the bottom of the deck, we have the truth. <laughs> Definitely could be dealing with a Libra. Facts, confessions, and no BS. So I feel like you want to heal a connection or you want to speak your truth or someone wants to speak their truth to you. Someone could have put up some like healthy boundaries. So it's kind of like forcing this person to explore their emotions. What they have found is that they have deep and intense emotions for you and they want to be transparent with you. They want to be honest with you about something that happened in the connection maybe somebody wants to be honest about how they feel about you um this could be you wanting to be honest with someone okay or you want to confess something to someone but i feel like honesty is the best policy in this situation okay um <coughs> for some of you you could be in a very beautiful healthy connection because someone is just honest like you could be wor worrying like is someone a liar or not they're not Someone is truthful and honest, and that's just what it is, okay? Um, but, you know, we'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. Please clarify the cure. I feel like you feel like someone is like your antidote. It could be lovesick. Please clarify the cure. Okay, we have the nine of emotions. Could be dealing with a Pisces, but it does not have to be. So this is someone that you kind of wished for. Someone here, because the nine of cups is like my self-love card. So someone has a lot of self-love. So when something isn't going like in the direction that they want in a relationship, they put up healthy boundaries. Um, um, and that kind of like triggers respect basically like someone really has a lot of respect for themselves they can this is someone who's like very happy on their own with the nine of cups energy um because the nines are like an independent energy but i feel like this is someone who's very dreamy someone that you fantasize about or this could be someone that's fantasizing about you okay but it's kind of like you see someone as like this intuitive genie and like you really want them or they really want you okay yeah if someone's really attractive I feel like someone really wants you, or you could be dealing with a Leo, but it could be any fire sign for that matter. <coughs> Someone's really confident and sexy and attractive, um, magical, creative. Yeah, the Eight of Swords, so could be dealing with a Gemini. Or, uh, um, who just got this? I just done Sag, so you could be dealing with the Sagittarius as well. So, yeah, you can't stop thinking about someone or someone can't stop thinking about you. Someone's, like, stuck in their mind here. Um, someone has, like, needs to get something off of their chest with the truth energy. Because they're all up in their head about you, thinking about you, or this is you. Definitely could be dealing with the Libra, the two of swords at the bottom of the deck. But you don't know what to say or this person doesn't know what to say or... It's like a harsh truth that someone has to admit. Could be something to do with like options or other people. Some type of confusion. There needs to be clarity in a situation. Um, it's it's tough for this person to do this. This could be tough for someone to express their emotions. <coughs> um, or it could be tough for someone to be honest with you. But 
it's something that they need to do. They've been in denial about something or this is you. Okay. It's like someone doesn't want to face the facts of how they feel or they don't want to face you. But, you know, but then they're like stuck in their mind about you. So it's a bit like, okay. All right, let's see. Okay, so it says I don't feel good enough for you. So I feel like that's what the problem is. Someone's insecure. <coughs> and I can't explain how I feel about you. So yeah, they've got deep emotions, but they, they can't... Like I said, someone has trouble explaining themselves, being vulnerable... Ugh, and I admire you. Someone admires you. Okay, that's what they kind of want you to know. So I feel like someone feels like you're, like, too good for them. It's kind of what I'm getting here. But they don't want to face that, like, or they don't want to tell you that. Like, someone has a lot of pride and ego. They can't just say, like, this could be you, Aries. But someone can't just say, you know what, like, I feel like you're too good for me. And it makes me feel very insecure. And I really admire you. It's almost like someone feels like... You know, if they say that, it's like a, um, I don't know, it's almost like someone views, like, love as a game, or it's like, it's really going to bruise this person's ego to admit that they are insecure, like, okay. <coughs> Excuse me. All right, what's this kinky, person's kinky thoughts or fantasies about you, what they want to do to you? Okay, so this is let me ride it. <laughs> so that's what somebody wants you to do. Okay. And watch me strip. So someone wants to watch you take their clothes off. Okay. Um, roll the dice. We have kiss and we have lips, okay? Someone likes to, your lips, the shape of your lips. Someone likes to kiss. Okay, someone also likes you to kiss them while you're on top of it. Or that's what they're thinking about. Um, but somebody, I, whenever I see the kiss, I always think about kiss and makeup. But there's something about your lips or your mouth that someone likes. Or this is you. Or someone wants to, like, kiss it better or something. All right, can we have a gods and goddess message in regards to this connection, please? Okay, Obatala. I am Obatala. I am here to help you feel calm and relaxed. Let me fill your life with peace. Yeah, so somebody wants to um, make peace with you, basically. Someone's not in a very peaceful place. They're very trapped in their mind and their thoughts with the Eight of Swords and the Two of Swords. But they want peace to be restored. But they know that they have to tell you the truth in order to for there to be balance and healing in this connection. So I feel like someone's having a hard time being honest, basically. And then we have Akhenaten at the bottom of the deck. I'm Akhenat and I'm here to help you feel confident and capable. Let me strengthen your leadership skills. Yeah, that's your energy. So I feel like this is you. You need to be confident to speak your truth. Okay. Um. Yeah. I feel like it's something that you don't want to do, but you have to. Because in this card, you know, the scales are not balanced. It's weighing heavy on his chest. It's almost like the same person here. So it's something that you need to say. Or whoever the masculine energy is, okay? Yeah, so that's it. So I was, I thought I had to pull more cards, but that's it. So thank you very much, um, Aries. I hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.